Beloved of God, welcome. I invite you to share a few moments dwelling in God's Word and devotion. We read Christ in our home together here. Tuesday, December 14th, um, Acts chapter 28 is where we're invited to find ourselves today. And so I'll invite your attention that way if you'd like to read along. Or simply listen here in devotion as we spend a few moments together. Acts 28. Uh, we're going to start in verse 23. After they, I'm assuming it's the apostles here, after they had set a day to meet with him, they came to him at his lodgings in great numbers. From morning until evening, he explained the matter to them, testifying to the kingdom of God and trying to convince them about Jesus, both from the law of Moses and from the prophets. Some were convinced by what he had said, while others refused to believe, so they disagreed with each other. And as they were leaving, Paul made one further statement. The Holy Spirit was right in saying to your ancestors through the prophet Isaiah, Go to this people and say, You will indeed listen, but never understand. And you will indeed look, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and their ears are hard of hearing. Okay, so it wasn't the apostles. Forgive me. And they have shut their eyes, so that they might not look with their eyes, and listen with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn. And I would heal them. Let it be known to you then that this salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles. They will listen. He lived there two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and without hindrance. Let's read a devotion and encounter it together here in Christ in our home uh, Be Not Afraid is the title, and it invites our focus to the th that last and 31st verse that we read, teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and without hindrance. Advent reminds us, to, reminds us all to act boldly. Mary is, not, is told to not be afraid, and she reminds her voice to speak the hopeful words of the Magnificat. The you'll hear that on Sunday. The shepherds are told not to be afraid, and they make haste to go find the Savior of the world. You'll hear that next Friday. No hindrances, no excuses. Have you ever felt unable to share the good news of Jesus? Perhaps you thought you needed to have all the answers. You expected resistance. You worried about what people would think. When I was a young adult, I had some of those fears and feelings. What did I know? How could I be a good witness to share with others God's gift of salvation? But then my husband and I were called to Papua New Guinea. I wondered what role I could play. I saw needs to be met, teaching the Duna women to read, sew, cook, nourishing meals for their children. In the process, we talked about Jesus. And I realized that teaching also happens through, rela through relationships and in conversation. Nothing to fear. I could act boldly. And so can you. Pray with me this morning. O God, grant us a spirit of boldness to share the good news in Jesus' name. Amen. Be invited to pray this day, and as you do, pray for those who are silenced by fear. Um, and as we hear and encounter those words again of the angel that says, Do not fear. Christ is with you. God is near. May that be so for you this day in ways that you can see, understand, uh, and trust. And uh, you don't have to wait until Sunday to hear the Magnificat. You don't have to wait until Christmas Eve next Friday to hear the angels to the shepherds. Come tomorrow to Las Posadas here at Cross of Hope. Six o'clock, uh, the mariachis will start at 5.30. So as you gather, come and in, in, toward the music uh, and we'll begin our, our worship and procession at 6.00. Um, and then we'll have some hot chocolate biscochitos to follow. It'll just be a wonderful evening. Um, look forward to that as we share again the story of Mary and Joseph looking for lodging and recount the story of Christmas along the way. God bless you and God hold you this day as you continue on your Advent journey, waiting, watching, and working. God love you.